not joking. We're not lying. We're not exaggerating. This is so bad, everyone, um, that we're willing to take this risk. And we're not joking. And we're not joking. We're not lying. We're not exaggerating. This is so bad, everyone. Um, uh Russia, I just want to unpick that slightly. Russia, a country, of course, with nuclear weapons, mm. has invaded Ukraine. Uh, and the world has obviously seen the devastation that <clears throat> that has caused. Uh, and the world has obviously seen the devastation. Uh, and the world has obviously seen the devastation <clears throat> that that has caused. Is it still the SNP policy that an independent Scotland should have no nuclear weapons? I would want to see, and this is certainly the position of the SNP, an independent Scotland be a non-nuclear member of NATO. Um, remember, the vast majority of countries in the world don't have nuclear weapons, and I, I think we're seeing right now, being reminded right now, of the dangers uh, posed by nuclear weapons. But I would want an independent Scotland, uh, albeit that Scotland is a small country, we have a strategically important uh, geographic position in the North Atlantic to be a constructive uh, and uh, participating member of NATO. Um, and I think one of the big uh, questions for my party, indeed, uh, for those who support an independent Scotland, is to think in this new world order that we're living in, to think in this new world order that we're living in, to think... This new world order that we're living in... Can't ever really have a sense of what these people have been through. Can't ever really have a sense of what these people have been through. No real sense. No real sense. No real sense. The, though it's stark. I think it's all, it's, it would almost be um, insulting to the people around here to try and, and sum it up in words. You know, I'm, I'm not sure words c can fully express what they've been through. I, Try with music. Since our last meeting, we've made tremendous progress. And I'd like to say that most of the credit goes to our extremely efficient International Research and Development Committee. So I would like to thank each and every one of you for your hard work and dedication to our cause. Thank you so much, all of you, for coming and for this exciting agenda. Now please welcome David Rockefeller, Jr. Honored guests, good evening. Um, and I want to echo Judy's thanks to all the support team here and also say to our speakers and panelists and moderators, what an extraordinary job I think you did this afternoon. It was just a tour de force and I thank you so much. And also to all of my Rockefeller Foundation colleagues, uh, to my fellow board members and uh, to the senior staff, 
of the Foundation for putting on this extraordinary uh, event. It is a real pleasure for me to be here to celebrate the long-standing relationship of the Rockefeller Foundation in China, one that, as you have learned, stretches as far back as our charter, which began, of course, a hundred years ago, a hundred years ago, a hundred years ago, in 1913. So, that was Bill Cooper in 2001. Now, Bill mentioned Poppy Bush and Wee Bush. Because, of course, Bush Sr., most people know that, well, a lot of people do say that Bush Sr. was the first guy to, to mention this new world order. A lot of people, that's what they, they tend to say. And like Bill mentioned in the clip, Hitler talked about a, a new world order. But they've missed, they've missed something out in between. It wasn't only Poppy and Hitler. We talked about a new world order. Let's jump back again to Eustace Mullins' book on the new world order. If the United Nations was created to fight, quote, fascism, close quote, its mission ended in 1945 when fascism was defeated by military force. When this goal was successful in 1945, the United Nations no longer had a historic mission. Nevertheless, it continued to function and the Rockefellers donated the most expensive parcel of real estate in, Man in Manhattan for its world headquarters. Yep, it was against this background that the governor of New York, Nelson Rockefeller, addressed a meeting at the Sheraton Park Hotel on July 26, 1968, in which he called for the creation of, quote, a new world order. Shock, horror. 